Good morning, everybody. It's Matt for Matter Hackers, and we are here at Formula Drift at the season opener. This is Streets of Long Beach, the first event of their 2025 season. And many of these teams are already using 3D printing for their race cars, for test components, sometimes probably even for components on the car. And we're going to be walking around all day today, watching some drifting, and also heading into the pits to talk to the teams about what they're doing with this awesome technology. So come along with us. So we've all needed to put new tires on our car at some point in time, but you've probably never needed new tires every two laps, every, you know, five minutes. But in the world of drift, that's very common because the way you drive, the way that these events work, you're always spinning the tires, you're driving the car sideways more than you're driving it in a straight line. And the cost of that is that you go through tires incredibly fast. So we're here at Formula Drift uh, at Streets of Long Beach. I'm talking with Steph Papadakis about what his race team is using 3D printing for on their cars. So give me a little bit about what you guys are doing. So the majority that we use the plastic 3D printing for is a uh, like a revisions check. So let's say we have a new part we want to put on the car, yeah. we'll design it in CAD, and then we'll do the first prototype out of plastic, and usually okay. just PLA. Yeah. It'll print up quick, it's usually relatively stiff, holds good uh, tolerances, and we can test fit it on the car, hold it in our hand, and then really quickly we can go back, do a revision if we need to. We'll print even another one out and make yeah. sure that's really what we'll want, we want. We'll even tap the holes, bolt it on, do whatever. So we've done that with like, brake caliper brackets, brake rotor hats, suspension components. Nice. I've done that with big oil pans before and I'll just do like segments of it and even glue it together. Another way would be uh, we do some functional parts. So we have a little power steering cooler on the car of course. and it has a small uh, fan on it and it has a ABS shroud for it. Sure. So we'll do that. Um, it could be sensor holders. We want to make a bracket and then we'll 3D print stuff like that out of uh, ASA or ABS. Yeah, I was going to say the like PLA makes perfect sense for like those test fit pieces, but one thing that like I'm learning a lot about with drifting specifically is like thermals is a huge deal because you like have crazy high RPM but not a lot of forward motion through the air so just like a traditional radiator doesn't really help keep things cool a lot of times so like you're like running really high temperatures in engine bay like it's always high temperature anyway but like even more here so are there is there anything that you found like applications that work in the car like during events or mostly it's just like the prototyping side right now yeah, in the, in the car we'll use ASA or ABS, ASA. and it'll live under the hood, no nice. problem. That's um, awesome. Yeah, so that's really good. And then my new favorite one is multi-jet fusion. Sure. And yeah. so like we don't have that printer at our shop, but sure. if we need that, I'll upload that and get that part made. And then we also do some metal stuff. We've done some aluminum and uh, ink and elk, and uh, those are usually like the the bed with the powder with the laser yep. yeah. powder bed fusion, like yeah. SLS. Yeah. yeah. The three D printing's critical. We almost don't have bad parts coming back from CNC sure. anymore because we've already test fitted. Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's great when you're making the whole part, even if it's just in plastic, because then you get to not just test like, does it fit, but like, how do you install it? Does it fit around these other pipes that we need to get around and things like that? So yeah, exactly. That's really cool. All right. Well, hey, thank you very much. It was great to meet you and talk to you and uh, good luck in the first event. Thank you very much.